Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of A Minute with Marlar. I am your host, David Marlar, and today we're visiting with a relatively new Lightspeed customer, Jason from Adaria. You're in Toronto, Canada, correct? That's right, yep. Welcome, welcome to the States. Thank you, David. So we uh, were having a conversation a while ago about the impact of warehouse automation and the efficiency, and you guys just put lights in your warehouse. You were picking with iPads prior to that, and in part of your due diligence, you went to go see other operators and you saw different systems in, in, in action. Right. Now that you've put your system in, what are some of the results that you've seen in your warehouse? Oh, the results have been, the warehouse has completely been transformed. Um, I think one of the biggest things that we saw was um, in efficiencies, um, the pick time got cut by, I would say, uh, by at least two hours a day, what we saved. How many, how many people? Uh, we had about three people. Three thinking. people, so you say basically six hours a day in labor. Yes, easily. And did you get rid of those people or did you just redeploy them to do other things? We redeployed them to do other things. So now that now they have more time to do other things in the warehouse. So make sure it doesn't look like a mess, clean the place, and really keep it up to where our, our standards should be. Uh, I think in the past, without the uh, light system, what we were finding was, you know, more er errors and mispicks when we're using an iPad because especially if you're trying to pick more than one machine at a time, that's when people start getting confused and you're, you're introducing more room for error. So mispicks are uh, obviously a big part of any warehouse operation right. and if it's a wrong product then it can get put in the wrong spiral with the wrong price on it or in some cases the spiral gets left empty so it's a lost revenue opportunity. Do you have a do you have a feel on the how many how much your mispicks have been reduced by adding lights? You know, I think uh, I have a, I do have a feel for it. I don't have an exact number for it, but what we're seeing back from driver feedback is that essentially that's reduced to almost negligible on a daily basis. Whereas before you will have at least one or two things on a per route per day sometimes being wrong. Here right now we're seeing it maybe couple times a week max. And wow, that was, that's, and that's, that's a huge improvement. That's a huge improvement. Yeah, so you were uh, uh, an Express customer for a long time. You've been a light customer now for a couple of months. What would you tell anybody out there that's using the iPads, that's on the fence about lights, what would you be your recommendation? Okay, well, you know, the iPads are great. It's a lot better than pen and paper, but the lights just take it right to a whole new level. I think it's a lot more once your pickers and your warehouse staff start using the lights, they don't even want to go back to the iPads. If we were to say there's no more lights tomorrow and we could use the iPads again, I think they would all quit. <laughs> and this is just in a month, right? That's just it, in a month. It hasn't been that long. No. So last question, $100,000 question, are you happy with your investment? Absolutely. I think the investment will pay back very, very quickly. That's what we're going to see. There you go. You have it directly from a customer, a happy customer, by the way. Thanks for checking out this episode of A Minute with Marlar, and we will see you real soon.